Buongiorno, good people of the world. We are here at Firenze, and it's the first and only day in this beautiful city. Lots of good things to see. The cradle of the Renaissance. As we walk right now, we're gonna head to the Duomo and just show you the inside and the outside and everything there is to see. On a different note, Jorge had a trouble today with the pigeons. What happened, Jorge? He is not a happy camper. <laughs> the pigeons stole all his breakfast, but he was lucky enough to get it back. As I was saying before, we put the Duomo on hold because we found that castle there and there is this thing here. Oh, it's a museum. We're just gonna try to check it out, go inside, see what's in there. Fondazione Seferielli, International Center for Performing Arts. Okay, we are not here to see anything of that. So sorry. This castle here, it's a Museo Nazionale de Vargello. And I'm not sure what's inside, but let's go and check it out and explore this beautiful city. Note that I have to give is that it is very easy to get lost in this city because uh, just remind yourself, this city has thousands of years of history and the streets are very narrow tall buildings very easy to get disoriented well it is a shame because we circle the building and apparently there is no entrance right now it's not open so that sucks it's, it must be because it's a Sunday so let's move to the next marvel so yeah we, we saw a church we tried to go inside it was a monastery they were on service wasn't happening so now we're just like going through a little streets that you find all over the place here and without Google Maps I think the Duomo is that way I'm just gonna follow my instinct oh look at this And so this was our first Renaissance church here in Firenze, Chisa di San Michele, and I can tell you the inside, it's just at another level. I mean, after seeing the ones in Hungary and Germany and, you know, all these other countries, this is the Renaissance. So I can, I can note the difference now. So on our way to Aldomo, we actually got lost and we happen to be right now in Piazza de la Signora and this is just like mesmerizing all these sculptures here. As I was saying before, it is so hard to be here and don't feel like Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, this is just a lot of art, the most art that I have seen in my life. This is not art, it's just magic. That's what it is. And it's packed. I can't imagine how this plaza is gonna be in the summer months. Anyways, next to this it's a Uffizi Museum, which I don't think we're gonna go right now. The goal is just to go to the Duomo and to see the actual David.
can tell you people that there is so much to see in this city and you can't see it in one day so it's gonna be impossible to do this challenge and show you everything that's in Firenze because it's just not gonna happen and in all honesty I feel like such an ignorant because I'm looking at a lot of beautiful sculptures and I have no idea what they are <laughs> so but let's keep looking I'm just a regular tourist showing you the city from my point of view that's what it is okay guys you know I have to take a break because there's lots of people everywhere and I think I made a mistake by not going to the museum early and that freaking sucks so for sure I'm going to the Duomo and show you guys that but right now I need to recharge my batteries and just take it from there so I found this place and I have to say the beauty of this is that with each glass of wine they get you tapas so how cool is that <laughs> and super nice service I mean as long as you speak a little bit of Italian you're in La Familia I have to say one of the best chorizos that I have tried ever in my life with some melted mozzarella can't go any better Chianti Classico è molto famoso qui a Firenze. Vale, grazie. Prova. Ah, ora sì. Grazie, signore. Grazie a te. People, so just when I thought I was defeated, here we are back in business again. This is Piazza Santa Cucina. Let me see. This is Piazza Santa Croce. And a beautiful cathedral here is uh, waiting for us. Let's go inside. Let's check it out and see all this amazing art. So I'm just outside and just like appreciate all the hand carvings that are either in the wood or in the marble or in like, this is just like outstanding work. I'm not sure how old this is, but it looks pretty old, but the detailed that it's just into each piece of this building, it's just freaking crazy. And just like, look at the plaza from here it is a beauty I tell you this guys do not underestimate this city one day is not enough to see everything there is just a thousand museums thousands of years of history it's just not gonna happen in one day let's see what we can show you and just enjoy what we can enjoy the culture and just have a great time in Firenze it freaking sucks that we can't get in the door is locked but from here I can see this is one of the most majestic churches that I have ever seen in my life and I can't go inside and I can't show you let's see if they open later today or tomorrow well tomorrow I'm not here let's see what happens to get some souvenirs because if not how can you prove that you were here <laughs> anyways souvenirs are done for the moment let's just walk to the Duomo and see it by yourselves from Tuscany we have San Giovese or Chianti Collisenesi this one goes uh, for now 
I would say something like this. This one for lunch. Yes, I don't say. It's okay? One of these? Yes. Please ask before shooting. Are you kidding me? Where is your customer service skills? Come on. First time happening in Europe. Anyways, good people, after that quick pit break, let's go to the Duomo. Okay, good people, this sucks because the line it is pretty big right now. I mean, you have to come here early in the morning. Look at that line. <sighs> but this is like monumental, majestic, impressive. <laughs> hours to this challenge and I'm not gonna waste any time on lines I'm gonna officially extend this episode and I'm gonna skip pizza tomorrow just gonna go there in the afternoon not at 7 in the morning and you know make it like you should do get here as early as possible I think this is the number one choice this and the David and skip the lines so yes people aside from the Duomo di Milano this is one of the biggest biggest churches that I have circled my life so I'm leaving this challenge until tomorrow it is bullshit you cannot do this city in 24 hours not happening so I'm extending this well, I'm going to show you just the outside and tomorrow the inside and then if I am lucky enough I'll go to pizza and show you the Leaning Tower of Pizza If you can see that over there is the Piazza di Michelangelo so let's just see how we get there we are from the other side of the river have to cross that bridge there, walk, go up, and do it before the sun sets down. Tips for the city, highly recommended to get up early. Like, I can't stress that enough. Get up early, go to the museums early, don't waste any time. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing a huge lineup. So it's not worth it at all. Another tip, besides walking, it's just learn some Italian words. If not, you are screwing yourself up. Come on, buongiorno. And holy. Regarding the Italian words, you know the basics? Buongiorno, good day, buona serata, good evening, una birra, one beer, per favore, please, il contro, the check, and so on. I mean, it's so easy, yet so complicated, but if you throw some Italian, they are going to love you. Another honest tip, do not take money off the ATM machines. I mean, they are there to rip you off. You're not supposed to do it. They're gonna take a big chunk of your money, so do not do it. What you need to do is just pay with your credit card. Come on, this is Italia, first world. They take credit cards most of the places and if not just bring a few euros euros from from your country and avoid the robbery because that is just what it is a robbery and i'm gonna show you later on on my new episode how much you get ripped off if you take money off 
an ATM here, either in Italy or anywhere. Slovakia, Germany, Spain, it doesn't matter. Right now, I found the best place to fly the drone, and I have been in Europe for almost two weeks already trying to fly the drone, and it has been pretty freaking cold or pretty freaking windy. And, like, you know, Italy, it's just the best weather conditions to fly my flying machine. Anyways, I'm just doing this right now. Piazza de Michelangelo e per queste la cala para allá, over there. Anyways, we're gonna cover this tomorrow. I decided already. I'm going to pizza only for two hours, as the locals suggested. And you know, tomorrow I'm gonna cover the museums. So far, right now, it is 40 minutes before sunset. And I plan to get the best shots of the city. After this, I'm going to show you the nightlife of the city and then that's just what it is. I'm gonna take it easy. Anyways, quick break and let's continue with the drone. Owa, arrivederci, as the Italian people say. people so after that pretty rocky afternoon we are off to enjoy some traditional Fiorentinian food so let's see what take us right now I think we know a spot let's just see how he goes uh, Bianco di Toscana si? the bottom bottiglia. the bottiglia due Lasagna de la nona. Sí. Ya va, ya va. ¿Qué es esto? Pues tenemos que echar palito. Uh, bread o pasta? No? Bread, bread. bread. Bread, ok. Es un sándwich. Sándwich, ok. No. Es la... Scachona de eso. No, ese es un sándwich, cayó. ¿Johnson? Sí. Eh, lasagna de la nona y la... Okay. Sándwich... Ok, pues como... Okay. Dos lasagna de la nona, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, which bread do you prefer? Well, uh, white, uh, whole grain, corn. Traditional. Ah, bien. <laughs> okay. Gracias. Gracias. We're back in the same place as yesterday. House wine, six euros. Other place is like six euros for a cup, but you can get tapas with it. Anyways, let's just wait for the delicious food. And the first, thank you so much. Grazie. And the first order of business is 
Va la lasagna di la nonna and the nonna just gave us the forks and the cutlery and we're just gonna munch on this so buon appetit people let's just be clear today is not about drinking today is about enjoying the culture and the food that Firenze has to offer so we began with the lasagna de la nonna and then we're going with what are we going with for her? Scacciata. Scacciata. That's not it. There is so many dishes to eat other 24 hours. Anything else for her? No, we're gonna just go on some food, right? Yeah, scacciata tripa. Tripa. Tripa? So good people, I mean, I have failed at show you Firenze in one day, but what, I, what I'm not failing at, it's just showing you the culinary magic that there is in this city within 24 hours. And we began with some lasagna di la nona and some house wine. Como se llama el house wine? Blanco di Toscano. The Blanco di Toscano. However, we're moving forward towards another dish. There is so much to try here in Firenze, and you know, my night doesn't end until I try all the good food that this region in Tuscany has to offer. It is customary here in Firenze, Tuscany, Italia. You do not leave the table until you finish your traditional vino de la casa. And that's what we're doing. After this, we're trying some more typical food. I mean, we tried the lasagna, we tried the porchetta, and this is a schiaccia? Schiacciata. Schiacciata. That's it. That's it. That's it. Don't forget to follow Luis on his page. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe and like.